Now I'm going to show you how to resize a selection in Photoshop. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to the Help Video Guru channel on YouTube. Now here we have an image of a jellyfish that I took through the side of a fish tank and I've already got our selection in effect. To resize it, I simply click on Edit, Transform, and Scale. You'll notice that a box forms around the original selection and on each corner and each side of that box are smaller boxes called handles that I can simply click and drag to affect a new size. I can go larger or I can go smaller. Okay, now you'll see that you can easily distort your image making it uh, flatter or skinnier. But when you get the size and aspect that you want, hit the enter key on your keyboard and your new selection size will be in effect. Now if you go in the center of your selection, click and drag, you can cover up any background holes that your original selection left behind if that suits you. Or if you want it outside of that, you can deselect your new selection, go to the clone tool, the clone stamp tool, alt click to select an area to clone from, and then simply fix that background up. Now, of course, this cloning trick doesn't work with all images, but at times you'll find this technique handy. Now, if you don't want any distortion whatsoever with your resizing of your selection, I'll show you how to do that. We'll begin again where we originally started and we'll say edit, transform, scale. Now instead of directly clicking and dragging, hold down the shift key on your keyboard first and then click and drag. And you'll see that no matter how you move your cursor around, the aspect ratio of your selection remains the same and there's no flattening or thinning of the original object. Now once again let go uh, with the mouse there and hit enter on your keyboard to choose your final size and in this, t in this case I'll just simply cover up the hole in the background there. Select and deselect to deselect our selection and there we have it, the enlarged selection that we were after. Please see my other videos for more help and tutorials. If you found this video tutorial useful, please subscribe to Help Video Guru on YouTube for updates and new info.